Uh, Matt, we we talked to, to to Frank about just um, how much how much is he looking forward to this matchup, knowing what happened last time with you guys, but also a chance to pick up your first win division. Give me your thoughts on the, as you get ready for this game. Yeah, I mean, um, we're excited about it. You know, obviously the division is tight right now, and so um, you know when you play these type of games, you, you got to find ways to win. Um, and, and it's a good chance for us. We obviously didn't play the way that we're capable of down there uh, earlier in the season, but you know we got to focus on improvement and getting better and, and having another opportunity to try and get that first division win. Matt, you start the second quarter of the season, win on Thursday night. You guys get that mini bye week, you know, to recover and get refreshed. What sense did you get coming in this week, guys? Focus, energy, excitement, maybe that there is a little recharge going into this game. Yeah, I think, you know, anytime you can get multiple days of rest, you know, during the season, I, I do think you, know, you sense that level of energy come back. Um, we know it's a grind, you know, it's a marathon as, as you're going through it. And, and, you know, this organization does a great job of, of scheduling it to, to try and help guys. But anytime you get those extra couple days, it, it makes a difference. And, you know, I thought the effort was, was and, and the mindset was really good on Monday, getting back in here and, and kind of talking about how we build uh, from where we're at. And uh, we got our first chance today to get out onto the practice field and, and try and you know make some of those adjustments. So I think we're all looking forward to it. I'm sorry. It's kind of crazy that your three-fifths of your line is different. It's not what you came here for. What, how are you feeling about all of it? Yeah, I think you know you never you never know how you never know how things are going to shake out. You know, in the, in this league, and um, you know certainly we've had a lot of moving parts there through the first five games of the season, and I think all those guys and us, you know, as a team and certainly as a coaching staff, are, are doing everything we can to try and you know make sure that that we're putting the you know the pieces in the right you know the the right parts in the right places and. Uh, we're working through that, but you know I got to give our guys credit. They continue to come to work every day. Um, they're looking to get better. We're working on things and uh, certainly striving for improvement. You've got as much experience close to the football as almost your coaches do. How much input are you having in this? Um, in terms of the reshuffling of, yeah. of that, you know I, I learned a long time ago. My job is is to play. It's uh, it's not to. You know, make personnel decisions. Uh, you know, I leave that to the coaches and, and Chris, and uh, they do a great job with that. For me, it's about you know making sure that whoever is in there, whenever they're in there, um, we, we play the best we can together. Matt, so up. much of this is offensive struggles in general. First and second down, you're just not getting positive yards. You're in third and long so much. Half of your third downs are third and seven or more. Have you been able to pinpoint anything of why you're not getting positive yards on first and second down, which puts you guys in the wrong? Where the pass yeah, for sure. You know, you, you can't, people say it all the time, you can't play the game from behind the sticks, right? And so uh, production on first and second down leads to production on third down. Also making first downs on first and second down help, helps too, right? And so, you know, that's that's been a point of emphasis for us, being more productive um, first and second down. It's certainly something like a day like today is a, is a great opportunity for us to work on that where it's a heavy emphasis on Wednesday of first and second down stuff. There's no you know, mistake about it. We haven't been good enough. Um, and, and we've put ourselves in tough positions to overcome that at times we have, but you're not going to do it consistently, right? And so um, I, I think the coaching staff has, has kind of given us some of the directions we want to go uh, in terms of, of trying to um, you know, be more efficient in first and second down. Obviously, I'm not, not going to say what those are, but you know, I think Frank did a good job on Monday of saying, all right, here's some of the things we can work on. And, uh, that's what we've got to go attack today at practice. You've been around this league for a long time. You've been on many winning streaks. Do you sense, do you feel like a sense of urgency this game coming up on Sunday, knowing if you can get two together, can you maybe get three or four wins in a row? Yeah, I mean, I think the the sense of urgency, you know, has to be there. Uh, division games, you know, they're they're always so important, particularly against a good football team. A uh, defense, you know, in particular, that's playing playing well and uh, handled us pretty good the last time we played them. So I feel like there's a good sense of urgency. I'm not looking any further than this week. You know, you'd love to string five or six together, but the way to do it is one at a time. You know, and and so uh, urgent but focused on you know what we need to do this week. Do you feel like this could be a trial by fire situation for your offensive line just because of how the defense handled you guys the first time you played them? Um, you know. I, it depends on you know how the week shakes out, and, and you know what what we determine is is the best for us this week. Uh, but 
you know, with some of the younger guys like a Bernie, I thought, you know, last week, that's a huge experience for him, you know, going that entire game. And I think he's going to be better for it. And, um, you know, I think our guys, you know, have been, have been working hard. There's no doubt about it. They've been working hard. And, um, you know, I think I really do. I, I think their best is yet to come and, and they're, they're going to improve as the year goes on, as we all need to. I've got to do a better job as well. Matt, on the flip side, like seeing it from the opposite side, can you speak to the level of leadership you've seen since that year? Yeah, Z's been great. I mean, the defense has played extremely well uh, through the first five games of the year. I know, you know, there's a play here, play there that they would like back, but their effort, the intensity, keeping us in ball games, um, it's been huge. And that's, you know, good football teams do that. They find ways, and, and our defense has has found a way. But his leadership in particular, you know, with Shaq being out so much and uh, having to step up and, and kind of embrace some of that role, he's been awesome. You know, I, I think he's first and foremost a leader by example, the way that he works every day, uh, the intensity, the focus that he brings to it. Guys feel that. Um, you know, I've, I've been really impressed with him this year. Your take on Alec, I know he's stepping up as a rookie. What has impressed you most about him when connected to you? I just think, you know, he's just the same guy, you know, whether it's midway through the fourth fourth quarter or second series of the game. You know, he, he has that same look in his eye the entire game. The, you know, the moment's not too big when the ball comes to him or it doesn't. He just he goes to work. And so it's the mindset, really. Um, and then his ball skills, you know, his ball skills to me are are really impressive. Um, we had a ball that, you know, got tipped or whatever and was kind of, uh, you know, flying around. It was, it was a strange, strange play, but he made a contested catch after that too, you know, which was a huge play for us. So uh, I've been impressed with that. His, his ball skills and just his attitude have been awesome. Matt, so much of the signature of your career is your poise late in games, your ability to close games out. How much does Stefan Gilmore mirror that on the defensive side? Yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he's a stud. There's no panic in his game. There's no panic in the way that he covers. You know, he, he kind of... I've learned this playing against him and then going against him in camp. He sometimes baits you into certain things too. And, you know, something might look like he's, you know, in a spot where you can get it in, but he knows, you know, uh, how, how to recover. And he's just a competitor, you know, he's, he's just, he's a quiet guy, you know, he, he doesn't say a whole lot, but competes, you know, every day, competes in games and just one of those guys who makes plays when you need him.